It's incredible to think this is my fifth Commonwealth Games. Each and every one of them stands out for me. They are so special in itself. And I think the one thing I take into this Games is the experience that I've had throughout the others in terms of what it's going to be like with the atmosphere in a village, what's it going to be like come game days, backing up um, two games day in a row. Um, but I'm excited to be here on the Gold Coast. I actually play for a club team just up the road, so I'm hoping to recruit some English Aussies over here so they can support us all the way through. But it's going to be a tough battle out there on court. There's some really good nations here, not just Australia, New Zealand, Jamaica, South Africa. So I'm really excited to see the brand and netball we put out on court and hopefully it'll do us well. We've been building up for this for so long now um, with the England girls. We actually had a prep camp in Sydney. We've now moved to Brisbane. I'm uh, really looking forward to moving into the village next week. And I think those steps that you get even closer to the actually start of the games just builds the excitement and the nerves. Um, and I guess just the thrill of being able to be here. For me personally, I feel like I'm in one of the best conditions I've been in. Um, I've come off a really good domestic season. I've had some nice international hit outs with these girls and that team connection is starting to bond again. And I think that's what's key for us is those connections. We've definitely got some girls that have got some superb talent within this team. It's about us being able to gel and execute on court. And I think that's right for us moving into this game that we build on each game that we step out on court. We execute our game plan and I hopefully we'll be there in the business end. Mum's flown all the way over from the UK, so she'll be here supporting my brother's uh, working over in New Zealand at the moment and he'll be flying in as well so definitely lots of support and I know the girls we've got a few family members that are coming over so there'll be a little congregation up in the crowd cheering for us definitely <laughs> spot out the red and white and it's the, the thing with the Commonwealth Games it's the friendly game so you often get a lot of sports that come along and watch us as well and we know that when we have our days off we'll be going supporting the other Team England sports. I guess playing for England for a number of years we haven't had the opportunity to actually be able to sing Jerusalem standing on the top of that podium be able to sing it loud and proud staring at our flag making our nation and proud so it's one of those things that drives you and throughout this whole tournament every time we step out on court it's yes we need to take care of the process but at the end of the day if we do and we achieve our goals then it's one thing that I'm really looking forward to standing side by side next to every single one of my teammates and singing it proudly.